And let's finish the 18th chapter of the Key to the Indian, which is called Dreams. Little Bear has told Omri and his father about dreams that both the clan mother and he have had about the future of the tribe. And so Omri's dad has opened up on the Canada option for Little Bear's people. Not all the time. White people will cheat you and steal your land. Your people will change, but there will still be a long house, and Paul Bear's children's children will know their mohawk and will speak your language and hold your beliefs. At least some of them will. That is as our field burnt by white men. When fire dies, two hands of corn plants stand against fire and give us their seeds. He held up ten fingers. Yes, but so long as a few survive, if they're strong enough, they can rebuild the tribe and the longhouse. Little Bear, surely it's better than nothing. Little Bear thought for only a short time. Then he rose smoothly to his feet and gazed away to the north, where the forested hills blazing with leaf color in the late sunshine met the horizon. He stooped to pick them up, and holding Omri's father level with his face, said, If they will listen, we will go. And your warriors, who are away, we leave word, we send messenger. They will follow if they wish, but I think they will stay and fight, and many will die. His voice dropped low. Little Bear has one wish, that we are of one mind, all the Iroquois. But your word is true. We must put water on our fires and go north into the mouth of cold wind. You'll build the longhouse again, Little Bear, said Omri's father softly. But Little Bear was staring at the bright forest on the hill and didn't hear him. Omri held against the Indian's chest by his big hand. could hear his heart beating hard and fast like a drum and felt him shiver as if the, cold, as if the deep cold of winter and of strong country had him already in its clutches as if the protection and comforting familiarity of the longhouse he'd built had already been left far behind. Aubrey heard his father whisper, Oh God, I hope I've done right. His father was not a believer, but Aubrey thought that that was the nearest to a prayer he had ever heard him utter. And that's the end of chapter 18.